Hey guys, <laughs> how are you doing? Um, so, hello, hello, how are you doing? Um, so, coming live to you <laughs> from my car. Um, actually, I'm going uh, roller skating with a friend tonight, so <laughs> I'm really excited and excited to get to back, back to my 80s roots. Um, but I have been, hello, um, I have been thinking about a lot about what's going on in the world and like there have been a lot of things that have been coming up and a lot of questions that have been coming up and a lot of questions that I've been having and I wanted to put, um, put out some different thoughts that I've been having and some different awarenesses that I've been having. And so the question that's been coming up for me is, you know, as a light worker, um, and I've seen a lot of, um, hey Nancy, um, I've seen a lot of stuff put, being put out right now. There's a, there's a term um, that's being put out around normalization. And for those of you guys who don't, um, who haven't seen that term, it's basically about like, we're kind of, you're pretending what's happening isn't happening. Okay. And so I've been thinking a lot about that, but then I've been also thinking about, um, for, for those of you guys who are new to this work, like the idea that where energy uh, goes, energy flows, and also that our words create a reality. And so I've been thinking about how do we bring awareness to what's going on without putting energy on, on putting out an energy that like on building negative things in the world, right? And so there's a lot of things that have been coming, coming up for me around this, right? Because like, I don't have all the answers by any means, but I definitely want to put out some thoughts so that we can start, um, start shifting, right? Start, start shifting where we're putting our focus, start, start shifting, start, start changing, um, where we're really putting our focus. And so one thing that's been coming up for me, I will say is really, okay. So, you know, as Martin Luther King has said, right? Um, hate's never going to, what's actually, I have the quote here, drive, uh, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only love, um, only light can do that, and hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. And so the question comes up with everything that's going on in the world, how do we bring awareness to what's going on without putting our focus, our attention, our energy there? And um, you know, like I said, I don't have the answers, but what I can say is, you know, I've been having a lot of conversations with my friends around this, right? And one conversation I had with one of my girlfriends, we were talking about our roles and our strengths, right? And I've got friends out there that are activists, uh, activists that they're going on the front lines and they're doing their part with that. I've got friends like the friend that I was talking to, she was talking to me about the fact that people come to her and want to have these deep conversations. They want they, they want to have an increased awareness. And so her way of playing that role and bringing more love into the world, bringing more light into the world is to really, um, to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations. Another awareness that had come up was, you know, it's like, how are you treating everybody in your world? Right? I mean, so there's so many ways that we can be driving more light, more love into the world and bringing awareness around what's happening, but keeping the focus towards that love, towards that light. I was, uh, I saw something online where there is a guy, um, a, there's a guy in Texas who, uh, put up a sign, um, and it was, uh, towards Muslim, uh, it was toward, towards Muslims, but he put a, a, put up a sign about love and supporting, right? And so he was actually encouraging that love and that support, right? And so I think the question becomes, how do we, instead of putting our focus on the negative that's going on in the world and then putting our energy in that direction and putting more and building that energy up, right? How can we start to put our focus on shifting that and changing that and becoming more love and becoming more light and each single every single one of us playing the role that we came here to play so like my role um that i really feel is that that of of being a light right and spreading that light and how can i like not only spread that light in a bigger setting but how can i um hey tracy um how can i spread that light um even one-on-one, -on -one, right? Even when I'm in a grocery store, in the elevator, in my building, how can I continue to connect with people, to honor them, to see them, 
and to honor our likeness, to honor our differences, and to really spread that love out in the world. Another energy that I've been really noticing, which I, which is very interesting, and I totally get, hello, <laughs> um, I totally get this energy coming up, is an energy of, like, it's like it's a victim energy, right? Let me clarify what I mean when I say victim energy. When I say victim energy, I'm talking about there's an energy coming up that where people are, aren't fully taking responsibility for, for, for themselves, right? Where they're wanting to have a passive approach to what's going on in the world. And I get it. I get it. Like I had this moment, um, a few weeks ago when all of this kind of happened, like, oh, it would just be really easy right now to just sort of have a job to show up to that I, where I'm not working for myself and to just kind of go back to a passive life, right? And I know that that's not, <laughs> that's not my path, but also I got like, you know, I was talking with a friend too and she said the same thing. She was like, I had this thought of like, oh, it'd be really easy right now just to sort of be like, kind of, kind of go back into that asleep state. And so how can we, um, hey Martha, um, how can we really bring forth that light and that love and, and really t start to take responsibility, right? And the first and the foremost is us taking responsibility for ourselves. And so when I talk about managing energy, managing our energy, for me, what that meant is I had to realize that watching, um, uh, watching all the stuff that was going on in the world vigorously where I was like online and seeing reading posts and seeing all the things that was, was going on was me not taking care of myself fully, right? It was me not man fully managing my energy and managing, um, what like, like if I'm not taking care of myself, there's no way that I can help lead the way, right? There's no way that I can help lead the light in the world if I'm not actually owning and honoring and, and really take, having good self-care. So the first and foremost for me in terms of managing my energy was I realized I had to have some better self-care, right? I had to start setting boundaries. One of them was being on social media. Like I realized that my energy kept getting... Um, can I think the words cannibalized, um, when I was on social media. So I realized like I had to start going less and less and less on social media. I also had to start noticing what I was feeding myself in terms of my thoughts. Right. And so I started to like, I downloaded a bunch of audiobooks and I just started to listen to them because I realized that I needed to like start to actually have some positive stuff coming, going on, right. That I had to really start to feed my mind, right? Because again, if I'm not taking care of myself, there's no way that I can help be the light that the world needs right now. And the world needs a lot of light. It needs a lot of love, right? And so really, really noticing like how you're managing your energy and noticing like, like before you read something, ask, is this going to, you know, make me feel good? Like, how is this going to make me feel before you watch a station or watch a show? How am I going to feel, um, uh, awesome. Thank you, Martha. Thanks. I'll take a look at that. Um, like, how is this going to make me feel like if I watch this? Right. And it's not to say like, the, cause this was another question that came up in another conversation I was having where it was like, okay, how do I stay in the know without bringing my energy so far down that I feel terrible and it's a fine balance. Right. And again, I don't have all the answers, but it's something that I've been playing with and something I'm figuring out. But it's like, I've, I feel like I've been able to stay in the know and honor what's going on without like completely going down with it. Right. Like that I can still stay light because I recognize like I have to be able to like lead, like lead the light, right. Lead the way. And we all have a responsibility in that. And so as part of that, as I started to mention, it's looking at what is your role, right? What is your strength? Maybe your strength is one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe your strength is an activist. I have a ton of activist friends and I applaud you like for going out and going on the front lines and going after it and doing what it takes to really, to stand up for what you believe in. And maybe your strength is being a light worker and leading the charge that way. And maybe it's some combined, um, combined, uh, thing of that. <laughs> It's not coming, but whatever that looks like for you. Right. And then doing it from a space of love, like, okay. So what, what ends up happening is because of our inherent, 
Um, hey, Tony, thanks so much for joining. Um, because of our inherent um, wrongness, which we all have this, right? We all have a pattern of, of it's like, that's like so deep seated, right? But we all have this, this inherent pattern of wrongness, this inherent pattern of, um, you know, not good enough. And so what ends up happening is we want to stand in our righteousness. We want to stand, stand up and say, look at what's going on. Look at what, what, they're, what they're doing wrong. And I totally get that, right? I totally understand that. And yet in doing so, that just creates more separation. That just cre moves us away from the oneness. And so one of the things that's coming up for me around this is, is it's about what I stand for, not what, I sta not what I'm against. So for me, what I stand for is I stand in favor of love, I stand in favor of light, I stand in favor of peace, I stand in favor of oneness, and so that's where I'm choosing to put my focus, right? Not on what's going wrong in the world right now, but how can I put out more of the energies, more of the feelings, more of the truths that the world needs right now. You know, I mentioned the quote with Martin Luther King where that hate is never going to lead to love, right? And darkness is not going to lead to light. We have a responsibility if you keep your energy up and if you keep your vibration up, one person who keeps their energy up, right, who keeps that light up, has the ability to impact tens if not hundreds of thousands of people. So if you think about it and you're like, okay, well, but I, you know, I want to bring attention to all the wrongness that's going on in the world. But if you think about it and depending on how you're coming at that, that can be just dragged to pulling the energy down. It can be actually not, it's not taking people higher. And so the million dollar question becomes, how do you bring awareness to what's going on in the world, which is so, so, so super important. And how do you keep your energy up and, and, and put the focus out towards what you want more of versus what you want less of? Because, you know, many of you guys know this, but our words create our reality. Every single thing you're putting out there, you're creating. So if you're putting out there something negative, you got to ask yourself, is this what I really want to be creating, right? Is this what I really want to be focused on right now? Same thing. It's like where our, I mentioned the quote, where our energy goes, our energy flows, right? And it's, again, it's the question is, it's like, is that really where I want to be putting my energy? Because as I drive towards that, the, I'm... I'm boosting it up. Thank you, Tony. Yes, it is so, so, so true. And so as I move towards that, as I put more energy out in that way, I end up creating more of that. And it's like, again, it goes back to, do you really, is that what you really want to be creating in this world? I mean, we all have a choice right now, right? We all have a choice to be leading the charge, leading the path, leading the light, and just determining what that looks like in our world. And I don't have the answers for you. I'm like, I'm still navigating this myself. But this is about tuning in and asking yourself, what do I want my future to look like? Do I want it to look like what happened, you know, back in the 1960s? Do I want it to, there to be another Holocaust? What do I want my future to look like? And how am I going to take a stand in, in a positive place to shift that, to change that, to move towards that? And to honor our differences and to stop... Like, it's like, we've got to start, you know, like, like if you're, if your role, if you feel called, like, and you're just a one-on-one -on -one person, how do you, when you're in the grocery store, see someone else's light, see someone else's heart, even if they're different from you, even if they voted differently from you, even if they are, you know, what, whatever it is, however you see their difference, how can you honor them? How can you hold love for them? How can you connect with them? And how can you stay in that light and stay in that truth and stay in that love, right? Because the world right now needs, it's like, well, the picture I see is like, it's all about really, they need to be held, right? They need, it's like, we all need to be held, right? We're all hurting. We're all wanting to see a new future. And yet we don't know exactly what that looks like. And now more than ever is the time for us to all stand up. And, 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 and part of what's happening, so I mentioned, you know, the victim energy. And, and like I said before, the, I say victim by not, I mean that by not taking responsibility for yourself, right? So where are you not taking responsibility for yourself? Because first and foremost, you got to do the work on yourself. Like if you're going to be and lead the charge and be that light in the world, you've got to do the work on yourself. But it's like, 
how can I take responsibility for myself and how I'm showing up in the world and what I'm putting out and what I'm creating in my world. Like that's, you know, that's, that's, it's just, it starts right there. And then it moves to, okay, like I'm taking responsibility for myself. Now can, how can I start to help others? Now how, how can I help to shift others to really, um, you know, to really choose that? Um, I just want to look and see. Uh, but it's, it's, so, it's just so important right now that we recognize that... Um, Tony, that's a really beautiful process. Energ um, energetically hugging yourself every morning um, and then hugging others. Exactly. Like, that's the thing. It's like, I know, I know everyone's looking for some big, big action that they can take in terms of, like, how do I change the world? Tony, exactly what you're talking about. Like, just doing those small things. Imagine if most of us started to choose, or all of us, started to choose that love, right? Started to choose from a higher perspective, started to choose from that perspective of like, like, how am I going to honor another? Like, even if they're different from me, even if they don't have the same opinion as, opinion as me, how can I still hold them? How can I still love them? How can I still honor them? How can I still care about them? How can I, you know, like I had a friend, um, who voted differently from me and we were having a conversation and I was like, how do I hold the space in this conversation? Right. You know, because like it, it was difficult. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It was difficult. It was challenging. Right. It's like, how do I like, I knew that it's like, it's like if we, if we got into like a right, wrong or uh, like, you know, like, Oh, but this reason and this reason that wasn't going to shift anything. Right. So I made a choice in that moment. It's like, okay, how am I going to show up in love right now? Right? Because me putting that out to her isn't going to like, it's not going to all of a sudden, she's not going to shift and go, yeah, you're right. I voted wrong. <laughs> like I, I should have voted. Like that's not what's going to happen. So part of what our responsibility is, is it's like, how do we move away from this inherent righteousness that we all have because of our inherent wrongness, right? Because of this, this deep seated wrongness that we have from, you know, thousands upon thousands of years ago. So how do we move away from that? How do we move away from judgment of others? And how do we move away from that judgment and that criticism of our, of our, in, in ourselves, right? And how do we move towards more love? How do we move towards more light? How do we start to honor ourselves? And really, you know, like the, the question right now becomes, it's like we have, to, we have to step into, the world is calling us forth to a new role, right? It's calling us forth to a new... Um, a new space, a new, like, it's like, it's like it, in everything that's happened, it's asking, like, are you going to be a victim in this? Or are you going to start to take, take charge of your life? Are you going to realize that you create your reality? Or are you going to buy into that some, something else outside of you, again, whether it's your relationship, your, your boss, your, you know, the, our president of the U S that, that they create the world. They create your world. And, and the truth of the matter is, is we are all creating our worlds and we all have a responsibility right now to be putting that out there and to be putting that forth. Hey, Heather, how are you? Um, thanks so much for joining from Australia. Um, but like, so, so part of that question becomes, how am I taking responsibility in my life? How am I putting love and light out there? Even if I, you know, like as I take a stand for what I believe in this world, how do I do that from love? How do I do that from light so that I'm not creating more of the same, right? I'm not creating more of the world that I don't want, the world that none of us really wants, right? And we can choose to do it quickly or we can choose to do it slowly, but um, I prefer quick. <laughs> that's, that's just my personal preference. Um, and so that's just, that's just the question, the million dollar question, right? And like I said, I don't have all the answers, but it's just the, the more that I think about it, I'm like, I don't want to be putting my, my energy on what I don't want. I don't want to be putting uh, my focus on what I don't want. I want to be putting it on what I do want. And I want to be, be no, no, I want to hold the truth of what my role is. And I want to put that out in the world and own that every single day, no matter what. So um, I'm sending you lots and lots of love. I can't wait. I'm going roller skating tonight, so <laughs> I'm so excited for that. And um, I'm sending, I'm like, I'm holding each, every single one of you that's tuning into this and every single person that's out in the world dearly. I know that we all need love right now. I know we all need just to be held 
and to know that like it's it's gonna be okay but we have we have the responsibility to create it and for those of you guys who don't know me and don't know about my work I help women to really feel no matter what's going on in the world like to, to be to hold that joy right so to see the perfection in the pain to see the the light in the darkness to see the joy in the sadness that is the work that I do right and so the first you know first part of taking responsibility is taking responsibility for yourself and really to own all pieces of yourself I know so many of us are conditioned to to not want to look at our emotions to not want to look at our pain to not want to look at our imperfections and the first piece of making that impact and making that difference in that world in in the world that's before us is doing it within yourself and doing the work on yourself and that is what I help people do and I'm not here to say that I have a perfect life or come work with me because I have the perfect life I'm here to tell you like I hold the space so that we can really that no matter what's happening in your life you can know joy no matter what's happening in your life you can know light and that's um that's the work that I came here to do in the world to help lift the world to more light and love. So much love and much light and many blessings to all of you. I'm sending so much light and love from Chicago. I'm in Chicago right now. And um, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and a wonderful evening and weekend. Much love.